Are you ready to buy a condo but wondering about all the associated costs related to it? In this video, I talk with a condo buying expert and we talk about all the hidden and associated costs so you know the question to ask when you're buying your next condo. Welcome to Home Buyer School brought to you by Brookfield Residential. So before we begin, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to get the latest strategies, tactics, and tips on home buying, click the subscribe button below, hit the little bell so you don't miss anything. Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Home Buyer School. Today I'm joined by Karen McDonald, Community Manager with Brookfield Residential. And today the question we're gonna answer is, what are the hidden fees when buying a condo? So are there any hidden fees buying there, a condo? There could be, um, and that really depends on whether you're buying a new or a resale home. Mm -hmm. um, to a large degree, in a, in a new home, no. Uh, you would, uh, you may have to pay for closing costs. A lot of the builders would include that in the total purchase price of the home. Um, and some banks would ensure that uh, you have a set aside amount to pay for closing fees. Um, you would definitely have to do so in a resale home. Yeah. Make sure that you have some funds allocated towards closing costs, yeah. legal closing costs to transfer that land title. Okay. Um, also in a resale, you may want to take a look at whether there are any special assessments that are due on that property. Um, anything that is um, required for that that um, current purchaser to pay yeah. um, prior to moving out, selling up their home. Another one is, um Obviously, do I have to pay utilities in my condo? Is that included kind of in the condo fee? It really right? depends yeah. on what type of multifamily home yeah. you're purchasing. Um, if you're buying something like an apartment style where there is a central heating, yeah. um, then yes, you will have some sort of utilities included in your condo fees, and you should be able to determine that really quickly by asking the question. Um, a lot of the times when it's a redefined townhome, you would just be paying for the exterior. You'd be metered for your own water. You'd have your own furnace, heating yeah. source. So yeah. you would pay for utilities separate from okay. condo fees. Um, and what kind of insurance do I need for my condo? Mm -hmm. Well, again, depending on what type of yeah. multifamily home. Uh, but in general, the building insurance would be included. So to rebuild the home, yeah. um, that would be included. Um, you would generally get uh, your contents and liability insurance. So in general, it's rather inexpensive to do so on a monthly basis, um, but that would be what I'd say is absolute contents and liability. Are, is that insurance included in the condo fees or is that separate? Contents and liability is always separate. Okay. It's what you bring into the home yeah. and, and liability for you know protecting the corporation against indemnify them any yeah. harms or losses. And same thing with the utilities, kind of separate. Absolutely. Right. Well, thank you very much, Karen. Thank you. thank you very much for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. That's another edition of Home Buyer School. Tune in next time for more expert tips and tricks. And visit homebuyerschool.ca to bring you one step closer to finding your dream home. As with everything, it would be great if you like and share our videos. Also, please let us know if you have any home buying questions you want us to answer.